Hey everyone, welcome to day 12 of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're going to be talking about what a chorus is and how to write one. So if you're new here, please subscribe and be sure to download the free template below. If you're over on Patreon, then you can download those extra pages to help you as well. So the chorus is the most important part of your song. It's usually where the main theme of the song is gonna be, and it's also gonna have the most memorable melody out of everything in your song. There are usually gonna be three to four choruses in each song. Sometimes the lyrics will be different in each chorus, but usually they are the same each time. The melody is also the same each time, except for maybe in the final chorus where you want to change up the melody a little bit, make it a little more dramatic and emotional in the final chorus. And then also each chorus will be about four to eight lines long of text. So the lyrics in your chorus are going to be summarizing the main message of your song. In the verses, you told the story, you really described everything and put in a lot of detail. And now in the chorus, you want to boil it down to the main Point. So you might put that message into just one word or maybe a two to five word phrase and then there's going to be a lot more repetition in your chorus in the lyrics. So you might repeat that word or that phrase several times throughout the chorus. Sometimes you're going to see choruses that just repeat that line four times in a row and that's your chorus. Sometimes you're going to see choruses that repeat that word or line a few times and then there's also other words interspersed between that word. Or you might see a chorus that has the word or phrase at the beginning and then also at the end and so in this way it bookends the lyrics. But whatever you do, you want to make sure usually that you have some kind of repetition happening in the lyrics. For the songwriter, it might feel like you're overdoing it, but you'd have to really overdo it to actually overdo it. For the listener, it's not going to feel like you're overdoing it. It's actually going to be really helpful to have that repetition in there. So then another thing that you can do with the lyrics in the chorus is to add in some nonsense syllables. So this would be something like yeah, 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 or na, 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 or oh, oh, oh. Something that's just kind of simple and easy. And there are two reasons why you might do this. The first reason is if you're trying to communicate some emotion that can't actually be put into words. And then the second reason is because it's just kind of a fun singable part for everyone if you're singing your last chorus then everyone can jump in and sing along with you by the end of the song. Now let's talk about the melody for your chorus. So in an earlier video in this challenge, we talked about the verse melody and how this is kind of like your talking melody, whereas the chorus is more of your singing melody. And this is just my own way to describe it, but let me explain what I mean. So the way the chorus is more like the singing melody of your song is for one, usually you're going to be in a higher register in your voice for the chorus. And this automatically is going to heighten the emotion, it's going to give it a little more intensity. Then another reason is because you might have more jumps going on in the chorus. So you're not necessarily staying around the same intervals. You might have a jump up or down and the melody line is going to be a little more interesting. Then another way is that you might stretch out the rhythms on the notes, stay on certain pitches for a longer amount of time. So everyone talks about this hook, that the chorus is supposed to be the hook of your song, it's supposed to be really catchy, but nobody necessarily explains how to do it. And that's partly because it's a little bit of a mystery. Even when you are a hook writer, there's not a guaranteed strategy for making a hook. So even when the hit makers make their hits, they don't know for sure if it's gonna be a hit until they actually release it to the public and see what the reaction is. But the main things that I can tell you about writing a hook most important is going to be that you have repetition in your melody. So if you write a little phrase for your chorus melody, you might want to repeat that three or four times throughout the chorus, and that's going to get the melody stuck in the listener's ear more easily. And then another way is what I said before, having those jumps in the melody. You want to make the melody a little more distinct in this part, and that's one way to do it. And then another way might be to make the rhythms a little more interesting in the chorus as well well. But like I said, it's a little bit of an unknown process. Just give it your best shot. Try to make it memorable. Try to make it hooky is basically what you have to do. 
<laughs> so then in terms of your chord progressions for your chorus, there aren't really any rules. You might want to have it be a different chord progression from what you had in the verse, because this will help distinguish your chorus from your verse. But other than that, you can really do whatever you want with the chord progression. So your assignment for today is to write your chorus. You might first want to come up with a one to five word line that's going to be the main theme of your chorus and probably the title of your song. So use that as your jumping off point for figuring out the rest of the chorus. And honestly, I'm a real fan of the choruses that just repeat the same line over and over again. So if that's what you want to do, I am a full supporter of that. <laughs> so there is a free template down below if you want to download that to help you with your writing. And if you're over on Patreon, then you can download all the extra pages to help you as well. So thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you're going to do for your chorus and share it with us if you would like. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about verses and choruses and making sure that you're really making a difference between those two sections. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye!